This is the Pro YT950 fluid tripod head from Yuntang. I picked it up on Amazon as I've been looking for a long time for a fluid tripod head that would be good for pans and tilt shots that was cheap. And this cost me about $20 to $25 if I recall correctly. And this thing's been pretty freaking awesome. This video was brought to you by Amazon Prime. The holiday shopping season is almost in full swing, which means you'll want your gifts shipped to you fast and free. I've been using Amazon Prime for about three years now, and I'm not sure I could live without it. Check the link in the description below for your 30-day free trial, which will cover the entire month of November, including Prime-only sales on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, along with their other benefits, such as streaming music, movies, and TV shows, and a, frankly, a plethora of other things. Check the link in the description to learn more. Now, the main reason that I actually picked up this tripod head was actually for my video slider that I purchased a little while back, back when I was still living at my parents' house. My problem, or my biggest inconvenience at least at the moment with that slider, is that it has a completely enclosed mounting system to slide across the slider. There's no quick release plate or anything like that. So to install my camera on it, I had to spin it around over top of this plate which was very much a pain in the ass and very inconvenient. Not to mention that when, since I run my DSLR off of wall power, that actually made it very difficult to do because the cord's sitting there spinning around and getting all twisted up. So I needed a tripod head for it in the first place that I could use a quick release plate with to just put on my camera, then throw my camera on the tripod head. And I wanted a fluid tripod head also. And this one's very, very good, especially for cheap. I'm sure the more expensive pro ones are a lot better and all that jazz. But for an amateur videographer, this thing is a boss. So first things first that I really, really loved is that it came with two different quick release plates. Well, not two different ones. It came with two quick release plates. The quick release plates are fairly large. They're quite large. They will mount and keep sturdy a very large camera, which works for my DSLR. And they have a basic screw and pin system for screwing into the bottom of your camera. And it works fairly well and it keeps it in place. My main tripod actually has the screw very, very loose and it becomes a very pain in the ass to actually screw it into anything because it's hard to keep the screw straight. This one's well built and it's got this soft corky kind of texture to grip to the bottom of your camera. And it comes with two of them. So that means if you're using multiple cameras, uh, very often with this head, you can just leave the quick release plates on them. Or if you lose one, you have a backup as long as you know where your backup is. Now, I do have one complaint about the quick release mounting system. It has this pin here with the locking plate and I'm gonna put the switch on, or put the plate on here and, oh, that's not in there, right? Hang on, there we go. And then it has a pin which uses to lock. And so when I unlock it, that pin actually pops up the quick release plate. Well, when I first put the quick release plate on, I had my finger down here on the edge because I didn't realize it shot back like that and it smashed the shit out of my thumb. Like I, it was purple for a couple hours. No blood, bro you know, no bones broken, no blood, nothing major. Like I'm not suing them over it or anything crazy like that, but it hurt like hell because it flies back into place with a very, very strong amount of force. The handle for actually controlling the pan and tilt and stuff like that is fairly large, which makes it easy to grab from a distance with my slider to try to keep shots as steady as possible and has a nice little foam grip that doesn't feel like it's going to come off anytime soon, which is pretty great as well. All of the knobs for tightening and loosening the various pans and tilts are very easy to use and they don't get super tight and you can feel they're just, they're very well greased or whatever because they, they work very, very well. And then of course the panning and tilting is as smooth as it gets. I I never looked into, you know, I it, I took a very long time to actually find this proper tripod head because I didn't believe without spending a bajillion dollars, this type of smooth panning and tilting action was actually something that was all that doable. I always thought it was just some huge complex system, but this is as smooth as it gets. No matter how much force you put on, it is smooth and controlled for both panning and tilting. And then you have little notches along both sides here for the up and down tilt and for the side to side or 360 degree pan. It can do a full 360 degree pan. It's got little notches so you can, if you want to mark them yourself, you can try to keep track of where you are on it. It's a badass, let me tell you. And then it also has the traditional tripod screw mounting at the bottom and then it has a filler on the inside where you can get the bigger type of screw. Uh, I did have one problem where I screwed it too tightly into another tripod quick release plate when I was trying to use it and that uh, inner screw actually came out, so I had to put it back in there with a flathead screwdriver, but not a big deal. But 
Overall, this is a very, very well-built and premium product for the price. I'm very, very happy I picked it up and it has done wonders for my B-roll for the channel. So just wanted to share this review with you guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I will leave a product link to this on Amazon in the description down below. Be sure to smash the like button if you like this review. Leave a comment down below with what your favorite videography accessory is, be it a tripod head, a slider, etc. Uh, what other things you think I should look into that might be better for B-roll for my channel if you have any suggestions. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check the links in the description below for our social media, our Patreon campaign, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next video.